Good morning everyone. Welcome to this topic about multiplying to two three digit numbers by one to two digit numbers in Mathematics 4 quarter 1 module 5. Our objective for this module at the end of this lesson you should be able to multiply up to three digit numbers by up to two digit numbers without or with regrouping. So before we start to our uh, main topic, let's have a guessing game again. Solve the given problem as fast as you can. A. I am a five digit number. My thousands digit is nine. My ten thousands digit is three. My hundreds digit is six. The other digit is zero. Who am I? Uh, yes, so I am 39,600. Letter B. My ones digit is 2. My tens digit is thrice the ones digit. My hundreds digit is 4 times the ones digit. And my thousands digit is the sum of the ones and the tens digit. What number am I? Yes. So I am 8,862. Alright, let's proceed to our main topic for this morning. A ferry at Sydney Harbour in Australia can carry as much as 795 passengers in one trip. How many passengers can it accommodate in one day if it is scheduled for 19 return trips? Instead of adding 795 19 times, we can simply multiply the two numbers. Step 1. Write the numbers vertically. We have 795 passengers times the number of trips which is 19 step 2 multiply the ones digit of the second number by all the digits of the first number that is 795 times 19 multiply first 9 by 795 so we have 5 or 9 times 5 is 45 write down 5 ones below the ones place of 5 and 9 and then bring 4 tenths at the top of 9 which is in the tens place so that's 9 times 5 is 45 next is 9 times 9 9 times 9 is 85 plus I uh, know 9 times 9 81 plus 4 tens that is 85 now bring or write 5 below the tens place and another 10 is in the hundreds place because we have eight high 850 so that's the high 800 next 7 times or 9 times 7 yeah 63 plus 8 that's 71 okay so that's the second step of multiplying three digits by two digits Multiply 9 by 795. Step 3. Multiply the tens of the second number by all the digits of the first number. Write the product below the first product and align them. So, ito yung sa step 2 natin. So, we're going to multiply now 
ones in the tens place. One times five is five. One times nine. And before you write five, leave space below the ones digit of the first product. So one times nine is nine. One times seven is seven. Fourth step, fourth step, add the products. Ayan, 700, uh, 7,115 plus 795. So those are the partial products of 795 times 19. So what you're going to do is to add the partial products. So, leave space below the ones digit of the first product. Therefore, 5 plus nothing or, or bring down 5. Yeah. The sum of the two partial product is the product of 795 and 19. 5 plus 5 in the tens, that's equal to 10. 9 plus 1 or 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. Thus, 795 times 19 equals 15,195. O see, lang, di ba? To multiply 3-digit numbers to two-digit numbers. Ayan. Tingnan lang ang figures kung paano natin ginawa. So, always remember that process to solve or to multiply three digits by two-digit numbers. Now, class, let's remember these key points in multiplying whole numbers. Right? First, write the vertical or the number vertically. Second, multiply the ones of the second number by all the digits of the first number. Third, multiply the tenth digit of the second number by all the digits of the first number. Then write the product below the first product and align them. And of course, don't forget to add the partial products. Now, let's have a short quiz for this topic. Question number one. Handa na ba kayo? Handa na. Okay. What is the first step in getting the product of whole numbers? A. Round off the factors. B. Round off the product. C. Write the numbers vertically. And D. Round off the quotient. Ay, show! <laughs> and the right answer is letter C. Why? The first step in getting the product of two numbers is to write the numbers vertically. Second, when multiplying 295 and 64, which of the following should you Multiply first. Again, when you multiply 295 and 64, which of the following should you multiply first? A. 4 times 4 and 295. B. 6 and 295. C. 2 and 64. D. 4 and 64. And the correct answer is A. Multiply the ones digit of the second number by all the digits of the first number. Question number 3. Find the quotient of 493 and 29. Again, question number 3. Find the product of 493 and 29. A. 14. 
B. 12,795 and D 17,429 The correct answer is A That's 14,297 Right 4,493 times 29 9 times 3 7 9 27 9 times 9 is 81 plus 2 83 9 times 4 is 36 that's 36 plus plus 44 9 times 3 again 9 times 3 27 9 times na uh, 9 times 9 is 81 plus 2 is 83 9 times 4 is 36 plus 8 is 44 then 2 times 3 is 6 leave the space below 7 in the ones place 2 times 9 18 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 then add the partial products and it will become 14,297. Question number 4. The Sari Sari store has 112 dozens of eggs. How many pieces of eggs do they have? A. 1,344 B. 12,044 C. 2,244 D. 2,344 The right answer is A. That's 1,344. One dozen is equals to 12 pieces. And we know that to find the total number of eggs, multiply 112 by 12. So that's it. Arrange it first vertically and multiply the ones digit first in the multiplier. 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 1, 2. Then proceed to the tenth place. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. And the total of the partial products is 1,344. Last and final question. Yvonne has 132 stickers. Rosandra has 12 times as much. How, mo how many more stickers does Rosandra have than Yvonne? A. 1,452 B. 1,584 C. 1,425 and D. 1,548 The right answer is a. 1,452 How? First, find the number of stickers Rosandra has. So that is 132 times 12. And we know that is 1,584. Then, find the difference of the number of Rosandra stickers and the bone stickers. So 100, uh, 1,584 minus 132 equals 1,452. Thus, Rosandra has 1,452 more stickers than Yvonne. Okay, and that's it for today. Congratulations. You are learning very well. See you again in the next module.